What's up YouTube? Welcome to this Star Wars video. Once again, I will be dissecting the little tidbits we've got so far. Well, very interesting news that we have coming out of Entertainment Tonight. The editor of Star Wars The Force Awakens confirmed that Frank Oz, who used to do the puppetry for none other than Yoda, the old dude on Dagobah, or, or as we know him now, the badass Jedi, could have possibly been in Star Wars The Force Awakens, which is very interesting, considering he perished. However, it would have been like a Force kind of dream apparition thingy that they have throughout the sagas. So we could be seeing Boba Fett in Rogue One, which would be pretty cool, because him and Darth Maul are two of the favourite characters in the entire Star Wars universe, but we never really saw that much of them. And at the German Toy Fair, there was a Lego demonstration, kind of an announcement of new sets, and we have Rogue One with a picture of the Slave One. Rogue One, Slave One, that's pretty cool. So, what could this mean? Obviously, a Lego set is not an announcement that he's in it, but it seems a bit too close for comfort, and it would make sense to have Boba Fett in it. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Hit the like and subscribe if you want to see more, and goodbye.